We've enjoyed a great stretch of weather across central and eastern Kentucky so far this week, including this Wednesday. A few high clouds building in, but dry and mild for Turkey Day tomorrow. Looking good. Now we'll have off and on showers Friday through Sunday. Definitely several breaks, a couple of waves of energy impacting our weather. And the good news is temperatures stay nice for late November after the cold stretch we dealt with for a couple of weeks. A lot of sun early as expected. Higher clouds building in, but not expecting anything in the way of rainfall until probably late tomorrow evening and into the early part of Friday. Pretty shot here with the sun having set within the last half hour. Bluegrass Care Navigator Sky VHD Camera Network checking out Richmond EKU. We're at 54. Light winds, most locations reach the mid 60s for afternoon highs, getting that typical quick drop off after sunset. Not a whole lot going on, not only across the eastern part of the country, but the lower 48s are looking good for travel. High pressure still sitting over the Carolinas. Got a little bit of moisture gathering across parts of Arkansas and eastern Oklahoma. That's ahead of that wave that's going to bypass us to the south. So on our future cast here, you see the scattered clouds that combined with a little bit of a southerly flow. I think mid to upper 30s will do it for early morning lows and then with some sunshine expected tomorrow, going to make a run into the mid 60s, maybe even upper 60s down south. You see the moisture beginning to gather out to our west mid afternoon. Because it's been so dry of late, it'll take a little while to kind of saturate things from top to bottom. So it'll be later in the evening. These two systems splitting, so one over the Great Lakes, other area of low pressure down south will be caught in the middle along the front, meaning not a whole lot of rain to be had. In fact, early bird shoppers on Black Friday, I think you'll see a few showers then, then drying out, which is good for high school football playoffs with the big games coming up on Friday evening. And then, of course, we've been watching Saturday mainly dry with the timing. Kentucky and Louisville out of Kroger Field. 3 o'clock kickoff. Again, should be done 7-ish, uh, especially if the game runs a little long. At this point, things seem to be slowing down a bit as far as the arrival. A little better moisture with this system. Now, here's 10 o'clock, at least with this data set. The rain's not even in here, and then this thing moves in and out in fairly short order. Should dry out Monday, and then later on Tuesday and into the day on Wednesday, more significant cold front heading our way, and that may actually lend itself to a few thunderstorms back in the mix next week. So we'll keep an eye on that. Clouds continue to increase. Still a little bit on the cool side side, but uh, quiet overnight. Thanksgiving looking good. Partly sunny, a mild day. Actually get out and enjoy it. 64 in the extended forecast here. Again, you see the rain chances kind of all over the place Friday morning and then just a slight chance late Saturday and then the early Sunday and then we'll do it all again late Tuesday into Wednesday. But you see through the period looking good here. Highs generally in the 50s with a few low 60s as well.